we want to specifically today work on or make you understand some life learning techniques which you should avoid anyone should avoid at any point in time you should not go there enjoy this this if i forget first timers do not forget also to subscribe hit the bell and as well we are waiting for your comments Get you. okay life threatening technique invariably means techniques which you can apply anywhere maybe on the streets maybe at home anywhere that the end point might result to a serious damage maiming the, the, the person or maybe resulting to death so we are going to do few of them to make you avoid them using them carelessly all right okay now let's assume there is an attack coming do not be anxious to take techniques that you do not really understand so that you not end up picking up one of those devastating techniques all right now you take a punch just throw a punch at me good now you throw this punch and I take this and I do this now this one goes to the groin and these two goes to the jaw the throat and the jaw this is called uppercut the full punch of this this is what happens it affects his throat affects everything about him so if I take this with force and it goes down now what happens again is as it goes lands down with the effect of the punch with the hitting of the back head the skull on the ground heaven knows what will happen next it's very very life threatening it is too devastating so you have to be watchful you have to be careful about this do not be so anxious because the punch comes and you harm that one and you take this too dangerous okay that's one you should avoid that we're going to take another one you have to avoid now from here it comes with another punch again now now with this with this i'm here now what happens here i tap this down and what do i do i take this one and two here the strike to the back of the neck affects the spinal cord it can do two things it could end this person paralyzed for life or even extinguish him totally from the face of the air so these are the things you must avoid I told us previously in the other videos that when you are striking any strike knife can strike to the back of the neck or to the side of the neck you must know the relative strength you are applying to the strike I said it has to be it has to do with you understanding the technique you are applying because if you don't understand it you will not know the strength it carries it carries so much strength that with this it can end this person Bam! it can end him by the side of the neck here so devastating it might, the side of the neck might not affect the spinal cord but it will affect only the neck which may, may, may cause may give him lifetime injury that the neck might not be able to come back to the weight it used to be or may also result to death then the back here will definitely if care is not taken will affect the spinal cord and may also result in death you have to be careful you should not do those techniques and if you have to apply 
Such technique, like I said, you need to understand it and be cautious about it. All right, now let's take on another one, another technique, life threatening technique, which you have to avoid. Okay, now it comes up again with a punch. I do this and I throw a punch to here. You just feel it. You see that? Only, I only tap it. You can see its reaction is just a tap. It is deadly. And not just deadly because of the punch you're, you're striking, but it is deadly because you actually know the punch and the points you're striking. Okay, all right. Do not be afraid. Take the hand off. Don't worry. We are very careful. I only want you to feel by just touching what happens. Now the point, I am not using the flat punch to strike here. The effect will be there, but it might not be, it might not cause what we are talking about for you to avoid. It may not be life threatening, but what is life threatening is, if you can see this, it is the two knuckles that is landing and you feel it. That's how it goes. Bam! Full there. What the first thing that will happen if that if that happens, the first thing that will happen to this person is breath will cease automatically. And you can guess what? Your breath ceasing without unconsciously. You should best explain, you can best explain what will happen next because you don't know whether you regain the, uh, the breath back or that is, that will be it. So it is not what you should play with. It's very devastating. Okay? Please, viewers, last timers, subscribe as we are going on. Now let's see. Give something on the groin. The groin too is another life threatening part. Like the first strike you did, you threw the first strike and I did this one before I did this. Now, if I happen to take this alone from here, hard strike to the groin is <laughs> life threatening because one, it might end up Busting the balls, and if it busts the balls, you can best explain what will happen next. Or it might end up shooting the balls up, leaving the socket. You can best explain what might happen next. So these are techniques, life threatening techniques you should be careful of. If possible, avoid them. Now let's take the last but not the least. Now he tries to come up with anything. I do this and I strike to the eye. Palm to the eye. This of course, what am I doing? I'm blinding him. Blinding because I am not striking any palm. I am striking the bare hand. This is called the bare hand. Like the tiger claw. Boom to the eye. And what happens? Straight to the eye. You can best explain it. Anything that goes to the eye like that and it's going right straight into the eye. What happens? Line there. So you have to avoid that and also avoid a punch that goes to the rib. Punch that goes to the rib. For instance, take your stance back and throw another punch again. I do this. And I strike this. Can you feel that? If you can see, you will realize that it is the two locals that is landing on the wrist, the wrist case. And it is not coming straight, it is packing the wrist upwards. This way, if you go straight, it is life threatening, but here is the most life threatening. Why I put it that way is because when you go straight with the two knuckles, 
you might succeed to break one of the rib bone but if you go with this you might break more than one because the alignment is like this and when you come this way you are packing the rib from here it goes this one twist that one twist that one twist in the standing that's how it goes so you pack it and it will break it can go up to one two three if care is not taken all right so you should understand the technique the basis is you should understand what technique you are applying and what force you should apply to the technique otherwise you will end up doing what you never intended to do at the end of the day all right so with this few points i hope viewers you should be able to understand and make clear the techniques or those techniques that you should avoid while in any in any combat mode let me put it that way while being confronted with anything so these are the techniques you should avoid best or better way you should try to understand those techniques so that if you need to apply them you know how to apply them not to the detriment of the opponent all right please i still remind you subscribe and hit the bell even as we await your comments thank you